India went from being the world's fastest growing economy to the fastest slowing economy in just a matter of months. The latest IMF estimate for India's GDP growth in financial year ending March 2020 is 4.8%. That is too slow for a country where an estimated 12 million young people are ready to take jobs every year. Not just that, IMF has had to cut the estimate for India's growth from 7.5% just about a year ago to 4.8% now. The Indian economy is slowing so fast, even the experts can't keep up with it. Make no mistake, India did not wake up to the slowdown suddenly. It started with commercial vehicles, uh, you know, slowing down in end of the last year, then we had passenger vehicles, then we had two-wheeler, then we had white goods, then we had consumer goods, then we have rural demand. What are we waiting for? The question is, what is the biggest problem that needs to be addressed immediately? The answer is lack of confidence. From top corporates to the common man, there's a sense of foreboding. From telecom to textiles, from car makers to builders, there are too many sectors neck deep in crisis. Unemployment is high and the rising prices are making matters worse. From an ill-advised demonetization to the rushed rollout of the GST, the government has been arguing that what it is doing is creative destruction. But the time for justifications are over because the slowing economy hurts the poor the most pushing the young among them to starvation and crime. They need the money to survive and confidence to aspire. So what can the Narendra Modi government do? The immediate need is to put some money in the hands of consumers. Nearly six months after the cut in corporate taxes, companies do not seem to be investing more to create jobs. That is because there is no demand. That is because there are many factories or segments within them that are still idle. Lesser tax alone is not enough. Companies need people to buy their stuff. There is a rising clamor for a cut in income tax, especially for those lower in the income chain. Hope floats that if people will have more money, they will spend more on essential items of daily use. To cars and buying new apartments. Inflation has to be low. But when prices of food items are too low, it hurts the farmers. And that is a big reason for India's slowdown. Over half the country is dependent on farming for their livelihood in one way or the other. When their incomes are curtailed, they tighten their purse strings. And when more than half the country's population turns penny-wise, there will be no aggregate demand for products and services. And what is worse, it will worsen the income equality. Those better off will save more, while those down the social strata will face more pressure on their pockets. In the last five years, the average Indian has been earning less while the price rise has been steady. Meanwhile, many top industrialists have multiplied their wealth many times over. This should be a concern for the government too. There is another challenge for Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman, even as the government has limited money to spend on reviving the economy. Time and again, the government has thrown money ineffectively. One of them at keeping state-owned banks alive, without really fixing the problem of inefficiency and corruption that plagues these institutions that are very, very necessary. A new crop of unpaid loans have further squeezed the economy. But as former RBI governor Raghuram Rajan said, just throwing money is not enough. The government has to take the unpopular decision of letting the bad companies die and saving the good ones that are just hurt by the environment. Remember, the annual budget is a statement of accounts and not every problem can be solved in the budget. But the budget will be an important stage for the government to make a statement that can inspire confidence, signal what its priorities are show transparency in the books, laws and their enforcement. All eyes will now be on the country's finance minister Nirmala Sitaraman and what creative ideas she comes up with to tackle this once-in-a-career crisis.